What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Beats and Brews. I'm Aaron Roy and I'm here with my homie Tony Kuchma. How'd you get started playing drums? So I've been playing for about 15 years now. Uh, pretty interesting story of how I got started was my buddy's dad was a drummer and um, had a drum set set up in the basement of his house and just went down and never had been on one before and just sat down and played, you know, something I would like to think of calling like somewhat of a beat. You know, looking at it now, it's probably like the most annoying thing ever. But <laughs> um, Dan Herbert was the guy's name. He came flying down the stairs and he was like, have you, have you ever played before? And I was like, no, this is my first time, you know. And mm -hmm. I jammed for a couple hours and he was like, all right, that's enough, man. Thank you. But, um, the, the day of that was November 27th, I'll never forget because it was my buddy's birthday and he told me, you know, for Christmas, ask for a drum set. And yeah. I did and that Christmas I didn't end up getting one and next Christmas he dropped off a drum set at my front door and it was nice. kind of like my parents at that point were like, well, now we're stuck. And <laughs> I just started in the basement and started getting out and working with other musicians and started joining bands and I'm still plan you know to this day so that's kind of how my journey started I just did a gig for Macho Means, shout out to Macho Means, very thankful he had me be a part of his Tape 10 project, which was a project that he's worked on for years, and he finally released it and allowed me to be the live drummer, which was very cool. That's right. So, um, in 2017, that's got the gears really rolling for me on like wanting to do more freelance events like that. Mm -hmm. um, my main focus is Lightwash. Um, it's, you know, just an indie rock project that is just super fun and there's just so much artistic creativity and the possibilities are endless. Yeah. That that's definitely my baby right now, but that's been going really well. We're signed to a label called Broken Circles, which is just, uh, it's more of a vinyl tape label. It was, I think, originally based out of New York, but now it's currently based out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Nice. So Very cool, yeah, to have it based out of our hometown. Yeah, that's, that's great. Christian Moreline sponsors today's episode, and we're drinking their massive double IPA, appropriately named Bay of Bengal. Weighing in at 8.9 ABV with 98 IBUs, this robust beer has a firm bitterness, yet a touch of residual sweetness with tropical and citrus notes, which I find pairs nicely with its spicy character. So with you being a freelance drummer, I know that you've played with hip hop guys, with jam bands, with indie rockers. Do you have a particular style that you prefer playing? I feel like my main rule is like I just want to do anything positive, so I don't really like to play for like anything negative if that makes sense music wise. Yeah. But I feel like with just being like, like you kind of stated earlier, being like a pocket drummer, it's kind of all those styles are easy to kind of bounce back and forth within, you know, like. If you're playing with more of a jammy band, you just kind of extend everything, you know. Yeah. If, um, if when I'm doing a hip hop project, it's always like usually those are about like the MC or the front man. It's not about the drummer. Just it's take just a like, backseat. Yeah, just take a backseat. Keep it, keep everything tight in the pocket. And referring to light wash, I feel like that's really where I get to shine. It's definitely where I'm most comfortable. But it's just because it's more Jeremiah Green, loose, inspired, just drumming, you know. Uh -huh.
Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Beats and Brews. First and foremost, we'd like to thank Christian Morline. Tony and I thoroughly enjoyed the Bay of the Bengal. Thank you very much for being here. For all of you that want to contact him, his information is below in the bio section. Tony, thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks for having me. See you next episode. I got sucked into the computer's dog. Alright. And then he robotically turned towards you. Well, no one noticed, I look over at Mindy. Alright. We got it this time. <laughs>